everybody, this is Evan with Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today I'm going to be bringing you um, some examples of Pendragon's uh, miniatures. And we have some of their 10mm fantasy line here. So one of the things that is always a big question is, when I order a miniature from a company, what am I getting in quality? Um, a lot of times you go to the manufacturer website and you'll see painted examples of that but the real big question is when it comes right out of the box or in this example of the bag how much work am I gonna to have to put into it to get the miniature paint ready so in some situations you have the 28 millimeters like from Warlord or other companies that are on spruce and you um, you'll know that you have to do some assembly to get get them together a lot of times though when you're into smaller scales such as 15 millimeter or less they're single cast so single cast being they're all complete and in one figure already uh, which is this case here um, not always but for the most part but being single cast sometimes there's going to be a lot more mold lines or flashings things that need to be cleaned up on the miniature and the website itself don't really show you what you're getting into. They show you a nice finished product, but how much work do I have to put into this? So Pendraken here, um, they have a fantastic 10 millimeter line and they are from the UK here. So here's a little thing for them, which also here on the back, you can see they got so many different products and some of the other things that you can order right from their website right there. The website is really, really nice. Um, not all of their miniatures on there, I will warn you, have photos of what's what you order, um, but they are getting them done. Um, I know a couple of people that are actually painting and posting pictures with them, but hopefully this will give you an example of some of their fantasy line and what you're getting into. So they're nice enough to send us six little packages here and you can see that they're marked barbarians undead goblins wood elves hill dwarfs and the dragon men here so we're going to start right here in this upper corner let's take a look at the goblins here so pendragon a uh, very popular company um their uh, american war of independence line is super super popular and here we go So we can see some of the figures here. So put them all here. So we got this really cool warg here. You can see it's super clean casting. A little burr at the bottom, but a little filing won't be bad. And you got the rider right here. Details are fairly sharp. This is one simple one. A little bit of glue and you get yourself a nice word writer. Here we go. I'll pull these two guys up here. Two other goblins here, one with a big axe, one with a club. As you can see, I'll pull it a little closer here details on them again really really sharp not a lot of flashing not a lot of bold lining again just a little little bumpy here on the bottom but no big deal with that and then there's three more in this example here I'll just throw them all right there And flip around onto the back. Usually one good spot to see if there's going to be any flashing or anything. It's going to be right along with the weapon tree. And as you can see here on those two examples, there's nothing there. It's very clean. The only metal that's really there is part of the figure like it should be. The only place you would need to clean up here is there on the very bottom. But you can run a little file over that super quick 
and that'll take care of that. So those are the goblins there, so let's take a look here at the undead. So I'll spread these ones out here. So these ones are really, really cool. I was super excited to show these ones off. Um, skeletal rider here on this skeletal horse. Again, very clean. And burrs here at the bottom are just little tiny things. Not too bad. Great detail. There we go. It's a little, I'm not sure, wraith or something like that. Very clean again. We got four undead skeletons here. And like I said, along with the weapons, you don't see any extra metal. Everything's right where they should be. And then this one, he's holding a club. For a second there, I thought it was it might have been a thick sword that had some extra flashing on it, but no, it's just a thicker club. Again, very clean, very sharp detail with it. Now that's one thing with these, um, since they're mold cast over time, the molds will degrade and you'll start to lose quality out of the molds, you can tell. These molds are still really sharp, so you're gonna get a nice clean casting out of them. So here's the barbarians. Move these around here. You can see real, real nice and sharp. I mean, look at the he's riding this giant pig-like thing. You can see with the on the uh, main, really sharp. Again, just a little tiny on the bottom, but it's no big deal. And the standard here is pretty cool. It's even the detail here. You can pick out the sword here on the side. Really like that one. And you got the the four fighters here. Get that focus there. You can see again, not much cleanup. These guys are pretty much good right out of the box. Or in this example, right out of the back. Now, Pen Dragon, when you order, um, you'll get to decide what, you know, what faction you're buying, be it this fantasy line or American War of Independence, World War II, whatever. Like I, you can see right there. 4,000 products, so they're going to have something for what you're looking for. But whatever you're looking for, you're going to order little blisters that have anywhere from 10 to like uh, 20 guys into it, just for a couple of pounds. Shipping is actually really good coming across the pond like it is. Uh, when, they said they, when they said they shipped this to us to when we received it, it was not long at all. Now, I'm not 100% sure if everything is cast... Um, I want to order if, they're, if they have surplus of stuff ready to go and just pull it, but um, either way, it does not take long to get. So here's the Wood Elves. So I'll show you the these fighter styles here. Again, just a little bit of on the bottom, but as you can see, cool cloaks. You, you got a little pouch even into that. Cool mage there. Very happy with these guys. And we've got the 
the mounted archer there. Again, really super clean. Um, so if you're looking for 10 millimeter fantasy, I mean, I would highly recommend these. Now, another question is, you know, hey, Evan, why would I want 10 millimeter? They're really small. Yes, they are. Which is fitting because we're talking about dwarves here. But yes, these guys are really small. But the advantage of doing these versus 28 millimeter is I can paint these six guys to a pretty good standard versus a 28 millimeter guy. I can get these six plus some done in the time it takes me to do one 28 millimeter. Again, these guys are pretty good. Now these ones do have a little bit of flashing right here. Um, like I said earlier, it's usually right around the weapons. You can see just a tiny bit. My camera focus on them. Just a tiny bit right there, right on top of the end of the, the weapon. Same with this one. Just a little tiny bit. So it's just a quick, quick snip. Now it'll take care of that. But overall, again, very, very clean quality with these dwarves. But yeah, um, why would I want to go small? So the space that you play on, four foot table by four foot table, six foot by four foot, can only fit so many figures. So if you're doing 28 millimeter, usually your scale is one to one. One guy represents one guy. However, if you do in a scale like 15 millimeter, 10 millimeter like this, here's the dragon men. When you do them in a scale like this, you're gonna put four to six guys on a base. And at that point, you can make a base represent 20 guys, 50 guys, 100 guys, 300, whatever you want. So by shrinking the size of the guys, let's look at this knight. By shrinking the size of the guys, you can actually increase the size of the battle. Apologize for the smuts on my hand. I was painting earlier. Sometimes I use my nails as mini palettes for blending. Again, really clean. Nothing on the weapons at all. So clean castings. So there you go. Dragon men and goblins, hill dwarves. We got barbarians, wood elves, and undead. So it gives you an idea of some of the fantasy line there, and it's a sprinkling of what what is in that for pen dragon. So I mean, if you were interested in doing some larger scale battles. 10 to 15 millimeter is really good. Six millimeter also, but 10 millimeter seems to be a good sweet spot. Um, I know quite a few people are using 10 millimeters for a lot of different things between fantasy lines, American War of Independence, French and Indian, and all sorts. And you're going to be able to find a lot of stuff here with Pendragon. You're going to find an era that's going to be interested, interesting for you. And going 10 millimeter, you're able to do larger battles, which is really good in a smaller space. But hopefully this helps you out um, taking a look at uh, what you're getting with some of this line here. And if you want to take a look at their website right here, www.pendragon.co.uk, take a look, find something there, order it up, paint it up, and have fun. Until later, this is Evan with Tabletop Gaming Guild. Have a good night.